welcome in the south of France. We're in the National Park of Seven, staying with Domaine de Bergerol, a beautiful winery led by Mathieu. We'll meet him later. I'll be staying here for three nights, staying in a yurt in the middle of the vineyard. It's very beautiful. So let's have a look and see what it's all about. We'll taste some wines, we'll see the winemaking process, uh, we'll see the tourism side. There's a tractor right there. Uh, so everyone is working. Let's discover together. Yes. Okay, so this is a very special building. Um, can you tell me something about this building? This building was uh, 450 years uh -huh. and it was uh, first for the pension after the monastery. So first the monks came here after they retired and then there were animals and then your grandfather, he bought it like this and he yeah. kept it this way yeah. and now you have the wine shop in here and you have uh, apartments mm -hmm. so now it's part of the, the winery. Syrah 2021. Uh -huh. It's uh, the best Syrah of the winery. We make, with, we make it with uh, carbonic maceration mm -hmm. and we keep just the press of the maceration uh -huh. and we put in the barrel. Okay. T shirt contest with the uh, yes. with the pet nuts. Yeah. Huh? So these are, I, I don't actually know what these are for. This thing? Yeah. It's cheaper, it's a, a fiber, okay. glass, glass fiber. Uh -huh. So this is just a normal tank, so, basically. Yeah, like. Yeah. But other material. Yes, yeah, so much. Can you explain and what that is? So these. The yeast uh, date from uh, down, uh -huh. and now we want to extract them. You want to get it out of the bottle. Yes, yeah. we have a special key uh -huh. to open uh -huh. quickly the bottle, and the yeast go outside. Okay, wait a second. Yeah. I'm ready. Let's go. Yes. t-shirt contest <laughs> oh my god that was fun can i do another one <laughs> okay. okay so let's taste some wine so um just for my understanding um your grandfather started this winery yes my grandfather was the uh, owner of a restaurant uh -huh in the little village uh, near the winery. Mm. And when he was uh, young, he was going to the school with his bike. Uh -huh. And he gave a little road and he can see the vineyard. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. When he was and he young. said, I want, maybe one day I, I want to buy this uh, vineyard. Mm -hmm. he, he bought this uh, when he could. Yeah. and he, he, planted, he planted all the vines. And now we continue. So how long ago was that when he bought this winery? Uh, 1967, more than 50 years ago. Okay, and now you took over? Yeah, uh, 2006. 2006? Yes, um, and now we have 36 hectares and we have, uh, this year we have the organic label. Organic. On oh, the wine. That's amazing. Yeah. And you are the wine maker yourself. Uh, you make yes, the wine. I make the wine. Uh -huh. I drive the tractor and the vineyard. Uh -huh. and I do everything. Everything by yourself. I have someone to help me, but yeah, uh, we do. Everyone do everything. We have okay. a little winery and a small family small, winery. Yes. yes. 
And this is a rosé we're yes. going to try First, now. First, uh, a rosé we call uh, Magnifica Preda. Uh -huh. Magnifica Preda, do you know this? Magnifica uh, Preda. Yeah, Magnifica Preda, it's an uh, Italian word. Uh -huh. And it's a nickname of uh, Marilyn Monroe in the movie River of Note. Uh -huh. And for me, this is the uh, elegance uh -huh. of the rosé. Uh -huh. And I take this name uh -huh. for I like this rosé. I like it. <laughs> Syrah, Grenache, and Petit Mansen. Yeah, what are the most typical grape varieties of this region? Because maybe you can explain a little bit of where we are right now in France. Yes. Oh, we are in South France, north of Languedoc, uh -huh. and the area is uh, seven. seven. We have the National Park of the Seven, uh -huh. we are inside the National Park, and the area for the wine is AGP7. Mm -hmm. And we have 22 grape varieties. 22 grape varieties. Yeah. And, and we do a lot of blend. We, uh -huh. I, just, I can play uh -huh. with the blend and uh -huh. make the wine now and experiment. Okay. Like this, I can experiment uh -huh. the grapes before to blend uh, all yeah. the big uh, blocks. So you blend different varieties, yeah. and then you see which ones work best with the on soil. The, yeah, with all my teammates. Yeah, uh, and then like, the ones that pass the test, you will blend more. Yeah. Okay. Which which ones work best on on your soil um, and climate? Yes, oh, for the red grapes is Syrah. Syrah. And Cabernet in second. Uh huh. And for the white is Sauvignon Blanc. Oh, I like it, huh? Very good. Yeah, slight, fruity, but there is 15% of Petit Mansen mm -hmm. white grapes from the southwest of France. And like this, we have more so salted and, mm. and mood and more longer. I like the softness. Mm. It's very, very good. It has a lot of minerality. Mathieu, what do you do when you don't make wine? Mm. What do you like to do for fun? Oh, for fun, I like uh, ride my motorbike. Your motorbike? Mo yes. I was a motocross rider when I was a teen teenager. Ah. Um, and now I keep sometimes to ride in the vineyard. And in the vineyard? <laughs> oh. <laughs> that is cool. Yes. Mm. Yeah. So I'm standing outside the yurt. It's a beautiful, beautiful place in the middle of the vineyard, really secluded. It's um, surrounded by vineyards, surrounded by forest. Uh, we're barbecuing at the moment. I'm going to show you around the yurt and so you can see the terrace. It's, uh, it's one of my favorite places I've ever stayed, really. Come. And here we are near the Cabernet Sauvignon. Okay. Where okay. we make. Wait, uh, one second. Can I get this one before we lose it? Because I lose most of the things in life. Oh. And Cabernet Sauvignon. So, how old are these vines? Uh, 25 years. 25 years. Okay. Now we can test yeah. first. And after we can take a little. Little snack. Snack. 
Okay. And the taste maybe change. Yeah. Yeah. This, this. this is something you do also with the people that come to your winery. You take them on a tour and you call it uh, walk on the wild. No, walk yes. on the wide wine side. Wine side, not the wild. Walk wine. on the wine <laughs> side. <laughs> yes. So it's Different. three kilometers. You walk across the vineyards. Yes. You taste the wines that are made in the vineyard. Yeah. And you have some snacks. Some snacks, and it pairing, yeah. and last time it was a pre-wedding party, uh -huh. and we do we put the music near the river, uh -huh. and we do a big buffet okay, you know, okay. for 50 people. Uh, wow. So people enjoy two hours near the river. <laughs> <laughs> Let's ah. do it. <laughs> That's this one? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's a um, duck, magre, ah. with um, pe uh, pepperoncino, yeah. and it's a special pepper uh -huh. from the Africa is timut pepper, bla uh, black pepper. Black pepper. I mm -hmm. eat it timut. and then I yes. taste the one. Yeah. Mm. It almost has like Szechuan type of yes. flavor, mm. the pepper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the, the duck is a bit greasy yes. and um, the wine just it breaks through the fat yes. with the tannins yes. a little bit. Mm. Um. The Pepperoncino is, is for um, the flower of the Cabernet. The Cabernet, And the yeah. paper is for the Syrah. For the Syrah. You know? the, the spiciness of the, the Syrah. Syrah. And, the, and the, the, the Syrah become lighter yeah. with the paper. Yeah. And Cabernet soup with the Pepperoncino. Mm. Because this wine is a wine with a little bit good tannin, sweet tannin. Uh -huh. It can go as well with the chocolate. Uh -huh. And this is macaron okay. chocolate. Mm. Macaron. My favorite. Mm. Good combination. I like chocolate and uh, red wine. Mm. It's delicious. Cheers. Mm. <laughs> Why is this wall <laughs> everywhere? <laughs> uh -huh. Because. Uh... Before in the Middle Age, it was for um, limited uh, property uh -huh. and the different, as those different terroirs, you know. With the wall, when it rains very heavy, the, the soil can be away, but with the wall, we can keep the, the soil, we protect the soil inside the wall. This, you call this a clove? The clove, because it's surrounded the vineyard. It surrounds the vineyard, and your wines are called. Clove because of this wall. Yeah. Le Clos, white. From the vineyard. We make Le Clos with Sauvignon Blanc and Petit Mountain. Uh -huh. Let's try this. So you said Sauvignon Blanc and Petit Mountain. And Petit Mountain. Uh, yes. How many percentage uh, of Sauvignon Blanc? 60%. Oh, yeah, you smell it. You can smell it a little bit. So is this your favorite wine? Yeah. yeah? <laughs> and uh, when did you start making this wine? In 2010. So good. I tasted this wine back in uh, in Amsterdam mm -hmm. because you sent it to me. But now it tastes ten times better. <laughs> Overlooking the yeah. the vineyards, like right in the Grenache Blanc, Blanc? Marsan, Pionnier, ah. Petit Mansin, Gros Mansin. Wow. And I have a surprise for you. I had some bottles in the vineyard, and if you find it, you can drink it. Ah, okay. Okay. Uh, so, in see? the whole vineyard? Yes, you have eight hectares to find. Eight the hectares! Oh shit! Okay, I'm going to look for the wine. Everything I find, I can drink it. Okay. Pet nut. One. Ooh, Le Clo, my favorite. So, this is 
all mine now. Yes. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Uh, acid soil uh -huh. gives some freshness to the wine and especially the soil is um, clay, sand and lime. Lam. So limestone? it's a mix and is it not limestone? No, not limestone. It's not limestone because it's uh, loam. Loam. Yeah.